We are getting our first look tonight at a major power project across the border that is completely off limits and out of view of the public. News Wars George Rickard is here with more on this. George? Yeah, it was a unique opportunity for our camera to go inside a massive tunnel that lies hundreds of feet below Niagara Falls. We're just at the entrance to the tunnel, and this is where actually where the water is going to come out when the tunnel is complete. We hopped on board a bus to take us through a brand new tunnel that lies under Niagara Falls, Ontario. For the past five years, workers have been drilling it, a total of six miles from a Canadian power station near the Lewiston-Queenston Bridge to an intake just above the falls. It's an amazing project, and the whole purpose of it is to bring more water to the Saradambeck generating station to generate clean, renewable hydroelectricity for 100 years or more. The water that goes over the falls now is shared by the U.S. and Canada. Right now, the U.S. is using their full allotment of the water. We're not using our full allotment, and the tunnel will allow us to use just about our full allotment of water. When it's finished, the water will flow from just above the falls through the six-mile tunnel. The largest hard rock drilling machine in the world, named Big Becky, is almost finished. Ontario power generation is now only about 100 yards away from coming out at the intakes above the falls. For five years, the drilled out rock has been sent back through and out of the tunnel on a huge conveyor belt. This rock here is uh, limestone, sedimentary rock underneath the Niagara River. It's about 400 million years old, and nobody's ever seen it before. This entire project costs about $1.6 billion. It should be finished in about two years and provide the water to generate enough electricity to power an additional 70,000 Canadian homes. George Rickard, News 4 at 530.